Welcome everybody to the HTC One S full review for the T-Mobile version. It is the exact same version that you will see internationally. It's just this one says T-Mobile at the top. So what I will start with today is the actual outer shell, which is a ceramic, five times stronger than stainless steel. At the top, you will see 3.5 millimeter jack for headphones, your power button. That right there is the 8 megapixel camera with image sense and your LED flash. At the bottom, you'll see your big ass speaker right here. It says Beats right over it. The screen is a 4.3 inch Super AMOLED touch screen and that's Gorilla Glass that you see right there. You notice that touching the screen is very sensitive. It's very easy to navigate. It's smooth, everything works perfectly. On the side of the phone you'll see the micro USB charging port. And on the other side, that's the volume right there. So you volume up, volume down. The speaker on this is amazing compared to what we're used to in previous HTC phones. I'll give you a bit of demonstration right here. You see how loud that is? And you see how fast YouTube pulled up. The speed of this phone is amazing. And you can tell I'm not using Wi-Fi. I am on the T-Mobile 4G right now. And it pulled up just like that. You will also notice something else about the outside of the phone. Even though there's these two breaks in the, sh in the shell right here, nothing opens up. You cannot change the battery. It has a built-in 1650 mAh battery. There is also no micro SD card. It has 16 gigabytes of internal memory and HDC is hooking everybody up with 25 gigabytes of Dropbox storage free for two years with the purchase of every HDC one line phone, which to me is a great deal. You'll see the new ice cream sandwich HTC Sense settings page right here where you have your personalized features. You'll actually be able to change what you're looking at. I mean you can have preset screens where you can just change at will, you know, your work one, your regular one, the one with your friends, your travel one. It's amazing all the different things that you can do now with Sense 4.0. They've made it so simple. Of course, your wallpaper. Now, the whole thing with the lock screen, you could put l shortcuts on your lock screen. You see these shortcuts? Like say you have a text message or you want to use the camera. So you put your finger on the camera, you drag it to the circle and boom, you have your camera all ready to go and you can instantly take pictures. And that's the same for your messages, your mail, you want to make a phone call very quick. Another thing, notification drop box right there right from the lock screen and weather when you have it all set up or from your lock screen which I am seriously not used to usually you have to go into the phone and do everything not anymore let's go back into the settings go all the way down 
and hit the about. This way I can just show you guys here. You'll see that it says dual core processor. This memory says one gigabyte. Bluetooth 4.0. Android version 4.0.3, which we all know is Ice Cream Sandwich. HTC Sense 4.0. Now let me talk about the camera for a second here. It is an 8 megapixel camera. It does take continuous shots. Up to 20 shots in a row with SLR type action and another cool feature is while you're video recording take pictures whenever you want and that goes the same with the playback you can take pictures during the playback your front camera is a 1.3 megapixel for video chat All the different camera options are amazing with this now. The new image sense technology, it's incredible. I can't see anybody having a problem with it. And here's the front facing camera. How's everybody doing today? And you can see that you can video cord with the front facing camera and take pictures just like you would with the other. When you hit your applications, you'll see it's put in page format. You can't go any further to page four once you get to page one as you can in some other phones. This just goes, you know, one, two, three, four, nice and smooth, very easy. And of course, there's your settings, comes with Pandora preloaded, your Play Store, there's your internet. Of course, I put uh, Google Chrome in here because it just works so well with Ice Cream Sandwich. Well, it only works with Ice Cream Sandwich. You have the HTC Hub right here. Hit the gallery by accident there. And there you have HTC Hub. Okay, that was the full review for the HTC One S. If you have any questions, please feel free to put it in the comments. I will ask, answer everything for you. Again, I am Tom from HTCpedia. Thank you very much.